Song is pretty simple. It's a strophic song. There are no changes in chord structure, just subtle lifts between different sections. It's D minor, C major, F major. It's probably uh, you know a million songs written with, the, with these chords. That's it. It's a song. to uh, prep a session for the violinist, Mary Alice Hutton. Um, she played on Purity and uh, that record, Youth in Retrograde. But there are like 60 tracks here and it's causing my fan on my computer to run and so I'm going to create a simplified version of this in a new session file where we will record just the violin. So the recording session is done with Mary, went really well, got some great parts. Um, just take a listen, I did a quick mix of some of them into the... Still the part I'm not sure about if I should keep this, so... I like it, it's just like, is it the best thing? Should it be better? Be more complicated. I like the simplicity, but it's also like, should it be a little more challenging? All right, so it's a few days later. I did decide to redo that vocal, and um, this is what I came up with. I can hear your heart stop beating in time, beating in time. So I thought that just kind of worked better in contrast to the straightforwardness of the chorus. And um, yeah, it's hard to get the right amount of uh, abstractness or um, kind of break up the linear nature of the song. Um, and I think it's also, it can be challenging to do something interesting with that progression, the D major, C, F progression. Um, so I ended up using a lot of effects on the vocals um, and then padding the second part of the verse, right and left. Um, the first part of the vocal it's running through the uh, Antares auto tune. Um, so it gives it that kind of uh, Kanye West, Bon Iver vocal effect to that fast pitch correction. But it's a, a setting called Arvox, which is uh, something that it's like, like most of them are way too abstract. I mean, they sound like um, totally mangled audio, but this one had just the right amount of effect, and then it did something to the pan as well. It's slightly, I can hear your heart slight, stop. slightly left center, which is a really strange kind of thing to do. So it's just slightly uh, off centered, 
and then adds a kind of a harmonic overtone. Um, but that wasn't, it's, you know, it spent way more time on vocals than I normally do. And uh, I think it's, I don't know, it's for some reason, you know, we sort of neglect our, neglect our, some of the most personal parts of our self sometimes for whatever reason. So consciously made an effort to focus and make sure that vocal is really something that I could live with. So this solo instrument is the bass station pitched up a couple octaves. And um, I just, I did one take, I was recording just random chaotic stuff and then it kind of emerged into a pattern. And then I uh, split, split that take up into two and panned them hard right and hard left. And so you get sort of this um, approximation of a pattern but there's a lot of variation um, and uh, it's no real uh, part other than just these notes within the D major D minor scale I mean, you know, it's hard, it's, it can be, I think for an artist, hard to just let go and let, uh, you know, have anything come through. And um, I also think it takes like the right, the right balance of that. Um, so within, within this structure of um, everything else, you know, they're having the right balance of the, the chaos kind of, uh, this, this worked for this track anyway. Just one more note on the sounds of the track. This here. is a Porsche Taycan. Um, it's the sound engineering that they built into the car. Uh, I thought it was a really kind of interesting mix of organic and artificial. Um, sounds and uh, it kind of fit for in the context of the song it's just this where you'd normally have a riser so it's kind of buried in the mix but that's the idea is that it just gives uh you know you mostly pick up on the high end um frequencies. So those are my production notes for Take Me to the Stars. Should be out sometime soon. Uh, thanks for watching and listening. So take me to the stars.